Hey everyone, today I'll be making some very yummy maple salmon. I've made this tons of times before for holidays and for special occasions. It is such a good treat and salmon can get kind of expensive so I don't make it a lot. Um, I just figured I'd mix things up and do some fish uh, for once and see if you guys like it or not. It was not. It's a really easy recipe. I take an hour out of your day just preparation and cooking and you're good to go. Well, let's get to it. At first, you're going to need a bowl. Uh, then you're going to need to add a fourth cup of maple syrup. Add a tablespoon, well I'm adding a tablespoon of garlic. You only really need about uh, one clove of garlic. That's with a tablespoon. So I like myself some garlic. One fourth teaspoon of garlic salt. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. Oh, and just about half a teaspoon, or sorry, eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. So I'll sprinkle in how much I feel like in there. And go ahead and mix that all together. Then in a baking dish, you're going to put your salmon. Ta da! Sorry, bumping the camera. You're going to pour your nice little mixture all of that salmon. Ta-da! Make sure it's coated in there nice. I'm going to flip mine over so that way I can get the stuff all over both sides of it. That's the, I like to keep the skin on mine because it helps trap in some of the flavor and moisture when I'm baking it. Then you can go ahead and cover this dish and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, after it's sat in the fridge for 30 minutes, you're going to go ahead and pop it into the oven preheated for 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Alright, my 20 minutes is up. Let's put these bad boys right there. Go ahead and use the tongs to turn one of these over. Let's grab this one. Oh yeah, look at that. It should easily just fall apart with the fork. That's how you know it's cooked all the way through. And don't worry about the skin. If you get with skin on it, you can eat the skin. It's perfectly fine. Or you see it comes really, comes off really easy once you cook it. See that? You can just peel it off and then eat everything else. Let's see if I can get a zoom in on this. Ready? Oh yeah. There you have it. Nice, easy recipe. Minimum preparation, minimum cook time, really easy. And people will think you spent hours making it. It's good for special occasions or if you just really want some fish. There's a lot of items that you might just have laying around the house involved in this and that's good. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell thing so that way you know when I post more videos. I've been posting every week trying to bring easy recipes to you to help you learn how to cook just like I had to learn how to cook. Alright, see you around.